Our Verify team has been in overdrive, fact-checking claims about the coronavirus on social media. Thank you very much. New York has really stepped up. It is critical that we're all working together to stop the spread. By now you know that lawmakers across the country have placed bans on group gatherings. We're encouraging, uh, directing uh, 10 or less people to be in a combined space. Every single Marylander can be a hero just by staying home. And the CDC says that anyone who tests positive should isolate at home and separate themselves from others in the house. One of you emailed the Verify team asking this, are these rules really enforceable? Let's verify. Well, it turns out that governors and the mayor in DC do have special powers to issue and enforce executive orders like this. And here are the possible punishments by state. In Virginia, you could face a fine of up to $2,500, a year in jail, or both. In DC, you could have to pay up to $5,000, risk 90 days in jail, or both. And finally, in Maryland, it's up to $5,000, a year of jail time, or both. Okay, what about if you test positive and then choose not to quarantine? We found out that both states and the CDC can issue orders telling COVID-19 patients to stay put. The CDC says federal quarantines are rarely used, but if you break that order, you could face fines, imprisonment, or both. The U.S. Customs and Border Protection and U.S. Coast Guard officers are both authorized to enforce this. If you have something that you want verified, send us a message at verify at WUSA9.com.